Friction. Hello everyone. In our previous video we saw how to calculate the force required to pull a box resting on an inclined plane. In this video, we will see how to calculate the force if the box is resting on an inclined plane and the force pulling the box is acting at an angle to the inclined plane. Suppose a box of 300 newtons is resting on an inclined plane. In all my examples, I'm using 300 newtons as the weight of the box, but the weight of the box can vary. A force P, which is at an angle, is pulling this box resting on an inclined plane. The angle made by the force with the inclined plane is given as 30 degrees, and the angle made by the inclined surface is given as 20 degrees. Apart from these two forces, we have a normal reaction force, which is applied by the inclined surface on the box, and the frictional force, which acts opposite to the direction of movement of the box. Let's see how to calculate the force required to pull the box in this case. As I explained in my previous video, if we consider the horizontal and vertical axes like this, we will have considerably more inclined forces to resolve. To avoid this, we consider our inclined surface as the horizontal axis and a perpendicular to that as our vertical axis. By doing this, we now have only two forces inclined to our horizontal and vertical axes, the force P and the weight of the body. To find the value of force P, we have to sum the vertical and horizontal forces. Since these two forces are inclined, we have to resolve them into their vertical and horizontal components. The angle made by the pulling force P is 30 degrees with our considered horizontal axis. Therefore, the horizontal component of this force P is given as P cosine 30 degrees, and the vertical component is given as P sine 30 degrees. Now, let's resolve the weight of the box into its vertical and horizontal components. Since the angle made by the weight of the box is not known, let's apply some simple geometry to find the angle made by the weight with our considered horizontal axis. If we extend the weight of the body downward like this, we will form a triangle. Since the force is perpendicular to this plane, the angle between them is 90 degrees. We already know that one angle is 20 degrees, so the remaining angle will be 70 degrees. If we move this inclined plane parallelly up like this, then this angle will also be 70 degrees, and since this angle is vertically opposite, it will also be 70 degrees. Now that we have the angle made by the weight of the box with our horizontal axis, we can resolve it into its components. The horizontal component of the weight will be 300 cosine 70 degrees, and the vertical component will be 300 sine 70 degrees. Since we now have all the vertical and horizontal forces, we can sum these forces and equate them to zero. As usual, let's first sum the vertical forces. Remember the sign conventions for the forces. Forces acting up are considered positive, and forces acting down are considered negative. Therefore, we have positive P sine 30 degrees, since it is acting up. Next, we have positive R, since the reaction force is also acting up, and we have minus 300 sine 70 degree acting down. If we solve 300 sine 70 degrees, we get 281.9 newtons. Since R and P are unknown, we cannot solve further, but we can rearrange this equation to have our first equation with two variables. Next, let's sum the horizontal forces. For horizontal forces, forces acting left are considered negative, and forces acting right are considered positive. Therefore, we have positive P cosine 30 degrees, since it is acting right, next, minus F, the frictional force, acting left, and minus 300 cosine 70 degrees, acting left. We will equate all these forces to zero. Since we know the frictional force is given by mu times the reaction force R, we substitute the value of mu and R to get the second equation. Here, minus 300 cosine 70 degrees will be equal to minus 102.6 newtons. By rearranging, we get our second equation. In the end, we will solve these equations using a calculator. Click on the mode button, then select the equations by pressing the 5 key. Next, select the types of equations. Here we have linear equations, so press 1. Now, input the first equation, sine 30 degrees. One. 
and 281.9. Next, input the second equation. Cosine 30 degrees. Minus 0 0.14. And 102.6. Press the equal sign to get the answer. There we have it. The value of force P required to pull the object is 151.78 newtons, and the reaction force R is 206.012 newtons. Therefore, we got the value of force P acting at an angle to pull the box resting on an inclined plane. I hope this video clarifies how to calculate the forces required to pull the object. In my next video, Let's see different variations of this problem. If you liked my video, click the like button and support my work by sharing it with your friends. The more people watch my videos, the more motivated I will be to create high quality content for you. Thank you for watching till the end.